Welcome to another episode of Camper Van Cognizance. I'm here today with my cousin Mark, who's a really, really good friend of mine as well as a, as well as a family member. Um, today we're going to talk about something, a concept called the chimp, and we're going to talk about chimp control. I'll go into that a little bit more shortly, but do you want to introduce yourself, mate? Uh, obviously, well, I think we're more like brothers than anything yeah, else, yeah, yeah. aren't we? I think our, uh, I think one of us or one of our sisters got swapped in the hospital. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> Definitely, mate. Is, uh, yeah, how they're related to us, I'll never know. Um, yeah, Mark, I'm a, I'd like to say a sports scientist. Could go with that, couldn't I, from the degrees? Yeah. Uh, sports massage therapist. Basically, anything to do with sports, I'd do it, but an absolute. My, de- my main degree was sports psychology, and I'm just really passionate about psychology, having been a bit of a psycho in the past. <laughs> <laughs> he also <laughs> likes to play with rigid shafts on a daily basis as well, don't you? Uh, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. That's, that's golf. Golf, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hitting balls with shafts. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, go on all night with the uh, golf innuendo, really. Yeah. Right, so, yeah, so chimp control. Anyway, uh, I was introduced to a book, um, which I've introduced, like, so many people to. It's called introduced The Chimp... me to. Yeah, yeah. Was... I recommend wow. it to everyone, but it's yeah. called The Chimp Paradox. And essentially... Stephen Peters. Yeah. If you want to know that. Essentially, like, dumbing it right down to make it easy to take in. Um, it talks... It's kind of like... Uh, a psychology book which breaks your brain down into three component parts the chimp the human and the computer and the chimp side of your brain is the part of your brain like the primitive part of your brain that deals with everything that come all of your interactions you have on a day-to-day basis your chimp deals with them first and it's always like the emotional reaction so I'll tie that in in a second but the human part of your brain is like the more rational logical part of the brain hmm. so an example would be like this road rage I think he uses this example in the book like you're yeah. driving down the road someone cuts you up and then you all of a sudden you're throwing your arms up in the air kicking off like oh you I'm gonna kill you blah 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 yeah. and that's your chimp essentially like protecting its ground like stand like being the alpha yeah. and then later on in the day you might look back and think Oh, oh, like why? That was why silly. Did, yeah, I wasn't really did, gonna get out and yeah, yeah. Why did I kick do that? an old like, woman's ass? Yeah. What, what's the <laughs> point? Yeah. What's the point? Like, and you, you logically think there was no, no outcome to that situation that would have, have been, been better w- with me acting emotionally, and then yeah. essentially the computer is where you store the programs that your like habits in a way, isn't it? It's like mm. mental habits. And that's so, the, well. That's the main crux of the book is yeah. training. It's training your brain to put more human stimulus into, into the computer the, as opposed to more chimpy stimulus. Yeah, yeah. Because your chimp is also like more powerful than the human. Like so, a chimp, five times. You say yeah, five, five times, times strong. More, yeah, and essentially you can't just ignore the chimp because it's always there. You have to appease it and create techniques that deal with it so you can't just say to yourself oh i'm not going to get angry you have to allow the human to sort of appease the chimp and be like oh Mm. if we're wasting our energy doing this like overreacting like this if you just chill out and like everything will essentially be okay okay that's type of like that's the type of thing isn't it and then over time you can program the computer to automatically react from a more logical rather than an emotional point of view yeah, uh, emotional way to situations. I know, I know since I read it. I mean, I think it's it's been probably eighteen months since I read it, and I I read it once, and I read it again, and then I made notes, and then almost pretty much read it a third time. Mm. The main the main thing I took. I mean, I've struggled a lot over the years. I mean, playing golf, especially if you. <laughs> if you if you don't get angry on a golf course, I don't think you're really playing golf. <laughs> so struggling with that uh, anger management side of things and having such like, not so much perfectionistic expectations, but kind of lofty ones and you're not meeting them and then that's when your chimp starts kicking off yeah, yeah. Uh, and ruminates at you, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, you're shit, you're this, you're that, you can't yeah. be, oh, what are you doing? Whereas you've got to 
program the better side of your brain to go listen no calm down he says putting the chimp in a box doesn't yeah, he yeah. so you let the chimp kick off yeah and then wait for it to calm down rationalize with it it's like yeah. right okay another thing give it bananas was another mm. another good part of the book it was like okay give your chimp a banana say for example you're procrastinating the chimps like oh i don't want to exercise today don't i can't be bothered i can't you know just say all right if we exercise now you can do this later you know yeah, we'll yeah, chill out later yeah we'll chill out later yeah. or we'll if you exercise now for an hour you can play playstation after yeah, you got to yeah. kind of give yeah. your brain that kind do of doing to your own rest. brain what you try and do what to you, like what kids you do and to stuff. a kid yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, it does it it yeah, works yeah. and i know it's I've, I've become such a stronger person mentally on and off a golf course and you know getting over a big operation and with you know i could have easily just chimped out a lot yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. it, and it wanted to yeah but you, you, at the end of the day you realize that what good comes from getting overly angry and aggressive yeah mm. all you do as well in that situation is the people around you sort of like they become more they, standoffish yeah. and they they suffer from it mm. so it's it's kind of infectious isn't it your mood yeah oh 100 if you're constantly snappy and emotional Rather than dealing with your problems, it's gonna it's gonna cause friction, yeah. relationships with your family and yeah. and all that but sort of stuff. The main point of the uh, that one of the only things I wrote down here, like the main point to drive home about it is, and where I think personally, having read, God knows how many psychology books, different psychologists, some are like, some are don't. Um, a lot of them go on about controlling emotions you got to control your emotions what i loved about the chimp paradox is it's like well you're not going to control it it's five times as strong as your human rational yeah. side and when you think about it it is so trying to control something i mean you know when we were at mma for example if we went in if we went in rolled around with someone five times as strong as us trying yeah, to yeah. control him yeah, that ain't gonna happen with yeah, a lose yeah. or five times better than us. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna get rolled and choked out, or whatever. Mm. So it's you've got to. You can't control your emotions. You've just got to learn to acknowledge them, calm down, rationalize with them, and just again, it's programming the computer to make you react better in the future. I mean, mm. we only learn by making mistakes in life. Yeah, at the end yeah. of the day, you I mean it's. How good you are not how good you are at life but how you are as a human is how essentially is what your mistakes have made you in the past yeah learning from them only idiots yeah. don't learn from mistakes and yeah. <laughs> there's a hell of a lot of idiots yeah, out yeah. there well we've all yeah. been idiots at some point oh we? yeah yeah can you think of a time when you look back and you think oh my god like the chimp was way too far out of the box then where you proper went emotionally out of line uh <laughs> umpteen times <laughs> I'll go for um, I'll go for one that doesn't portray me in too <laughs> dark of a manner damage limitation yeah, example but a bad example okay um, I'm just trying to think I'm, myself. I'm about 20 21 in a in a golf tournament uh, I'm on the 11th hole I've just absolutely nutted a 2 iron down the middle and the group in front are taking forever. Yeah. The faffing about, looking for balls, and obviously not knowing that much about psychology when I was younger, my chimp starts kicking off. Yeah. Just, oh, what are you doing? Why are you taking so long? Blah blah blah. And totally, I was playing well. Totally lose me focus. Not this shot straight out of the heel, right into the trees, never to be seen again and i hurled i think it was a three iron yeah i hurled it at me bag and it just went ping snapped it yeah, off yeah. it came back nearly hit me in the face could have lost me eye <laughs> but i didn't have yeah. you know i've snapped the three iron i was only i think i was only 20 didn't have any money and it's like 60 odd quid to reshaft the three iron mm. i just got out of uni living at home probably had about five pounds in my name so you know 
not being able to. I've done it before with a putter, yeah. which is even worse. Halfway round, where I stuck my foot through the shaft of the putter and went, ah, shit, I've got to. I had to putt with my three wood for the rest of the round. <laughs> Needless to say, it didn't. Uh, <laughs> the rest of the round didn't finish well. It, uh, yeah, considering half of my life's been spent on a golf course, there's so many chimp moments. Yeah, I, I, I have a chimp golf butted course. Butted my moment. driver. You butted your butted driver. my driver and split my head. That was that was one of them. Uh, uh, it's it's hilarious when you look back. When isn't you look it? how back, ridiculous it is. At, at the time, I, I used to get that fired up with emotion, and because you, my my thing is I hate losing. Yeah, yeah. still do even with this, what I like to think I've got a strong mind now. I still get kind of still get quite emotional mm. and the fire does but i've trained that, my brain now that's good you can use that in, it's a, not in a, a positive <laughs> way though can't you yeah that yeah. emotion emotion is helpful if you can if you can channel it in a way yeah especially in in, in competitive sports and that it's really good to, to have yeah. that drive i think the better uh, i think with golf it's harder to tame stronger emotions like anger getting upset and um, uh, one channeling adrenaline can, can mean if you're playing football rugby you played a lot of rugby in your mm. past if you're pumped full of adrenaline mm. those big hard tackles aren't going to hurt as much yeah, they're yeah. going to fire you up and that's yeah. I mean when I was playing football a lot I mean when I was pumped full of adrenaline my brain was focused and that was that was great yeah I'd, the only just, one emotion I would say never never valuable in really any situations anger because that I think it cloud for me it always yeah, even, clouded good decision making yeah, that just ruined me even in like combat sports like I've boxed and done MMA and stuff like yeah. that and in, in a like competitive boxing match if you get angry and you forget what you're doing you forget what you've mm. been sort of like anger it takes you away from sort of like that laser focus and yeah. you can tie yourself out you can Leave yourself out, self open for stupid mistakes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's I mean, it's definitely. You look at it's definitely. Look, I can't, yeah, I genuinely can't think of a time when when anger is useful. That's a good point. Yeah, that's and I've. It took me a long time to learn that, but I'm so grateful now that I have. Yeah. Because nothing, nothing good comes from anger. Yeah. Really. I just, I was just, I was just thinking then as well, you know, with the comparison of the different sports, mm. with like rugby and and football and, and boxing, sports where you're constantly on the go, you don't have time to like yeah. ruminate. You have to just get on with it because the yeah. game doesn't stop for you. Whereas with golf, you you're take on, a shot and then you've got three hundred yards. Hours. You've yeah. got three hundred yards to your next shot, and that whole time you're thinking, you're thinking, you're overthinking, mm. you're overcomplicating things in well, your brain. And if you can't if you can't regulate your emotions there, yeah, then you've got a big build up before your next shot, and your head's going to be all yeah. over the place, isn't See, it? This is where, and if any golfers are watching, they need a psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done it, <laughs> and I'll help you. Yeah. yeah. But one of the best things I've figured out how to do is um, it's almost like hypnotic triggers. So, for example, if I'm because if you've ever if you've ever tried to concentrate even just solidly for one hole of golf mm. for the entire time mm. walk into the ball blah 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 it could take you 10 15 minutes to play one hole and that mm. maybe even just a short hole trying yeah. to concentrate for that amount of time at once it's too difficult yeah. the brain doesn't like it yeah, the yeah. conscious brain anyway so i've I say i've I'm created it but i've come up with a system that works for me so I'll right before a shot I click my fingers that's my cue to get in the zone yeah yeah I start thinking about I go through my routine how far is a shot yardage lie blah 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 the technical and then I've got another one where I'll press when I'm ready to go I press my temple so it's all some sort of like weird cyborg or something yeah so Is that Elon um, Musk been getting in your brain? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Give me some of his brain power and his billions. <laughs> but um, 
that's me next one is I'm gonna press me temple. That's me my weird little superhero thing mm. that's like right. That takes that's my cue to take away all the technical shit. Yeah. And focus solely on the target. Yeah, I've yeah. done me technical thinking. There's me target focus, so I've got click into the zone, then zone focus on the target. And that's it that yeah. seems to that seems to work. And then after the shot's gone, if I feel myself getting mad, I give myself either ten steps. Have you got another button like somewhere else to press? No, they're, 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 they're just veins <laughs> pulsing out. <laughs> There's two lightning bolt ones there and big fat ones coming out my neck. But uh, no, that's I give myself, if I'm mad, I give myself ten steps, slap myself on the wrist, and then it's focus on the next shot. Yeah. Because I've, I've done it so many times in the past where you're walking, oh, shit, oh, God. And I'll be thinking about mm. a port of mist. Three holes ago. Yeah, oh, yeah. If I'd hold that putt, I'd be three under. I'd be this. I'd be that. Yeah. And it just ruins the rest of your round. Yeah. You just got to. So you have right. to play every Boom. shot like you've never played a shot yet, haven't you? Yeah, you got to try. It's very, every shot. To, it, it, I can understand. It's probably difficult. It's to so that. difficult to my, try. And block my level stuff of golf is not but, quite your level of golf. So yeah. most of my balls used to go in the ponds and in the trees anyway. <laughs> if I'd have got angry, I'd have had no clubs left after nine <laughs> holes because it'd all be wrapped yeah, around yeah. the trees. Yeah. And my head would be bust up from headbutting all my drivers. <laughs> that, yeah, I wouldn't. See, it, when I did it, that that was the old ones with like, it was just like basically a titanium head. Yeah. It's granted, it fuck, it hurt. It's harder than... it split my yeah. head. But now, they've got all these dials, um, they've got like... Weight, in weight them, shift. I mean. If I bought, I bought one of them now. I'd probably be Knock on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah. yeah. It's so. good that you have managed to control your chimp a bit now, then, isn't it? Yeah. It only took ten years. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not fully. It's still. I. I see. I mean, girlfriend. She likens my chimp. It's. She doesn't call it a chimp. It's more like a gorilla. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. He's probably ten times stronger than yeah. I am. So trying to put him in a box is yeah. no. It's, what else? Uh, why, why, why don't you just go over there? I'll give you six bananas. It cost me a fortune in bananas <laughs> if it was figuratively real. <laughs> Literally giving your chip bananas. Yeah, taking it to Tesco every five <laughs> minutes. Go on, pick the big ones. Uh, so. Yeah, that's another important point as well, isn't it? Like the strength of certain people's because we're all different. Like people's emotions are going to be stronger mm. or weaker depending on like the nature and nurture side of things we don't have to look too far from people close to <laughs> us <laughs> do we? No, no. Uh, there's some very chimpy people in our family <laughs> uh, when we're yeah. talking it's just like they're not there's no chimp and human anymore they've just morphed into the chimp <laughs> yeah so yeah. they're just walking around the human is constant pad, chimp the human so, is padlocked in the chimp's box yeah the chimp, the, has, the pulled, chimp, has, the the chimp the has put the human in the box <laughs> yeah yeah let me out yeah what we'll name no names no, 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 no. Anyone, anyone who knows is probably <laughs> oh yeah i know yeah not soft mm. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. And I think you see it a lot um, with, like, kids as well, don't you? So, some kids are, like, really highly emotional and yeah. struggle to control that. They're more... But chim- it's, it's think, weird. Because he says in the book as well, the more kids... Because they're only kids, they don't... Well, it's, it's the amygdala in the brain. That's yeah. your emotional cortex, isn't yeah. it? Their amygdala develops before the two frontal lobes yeah yeah your analytical and your um logical front lobes yeah so they're more they're more chimpy anyway yeah so they've it's got only less of a defense th- mechanism yeah and if they've got chimpy parents yeah then that chimp is going to be a nasty ass that's chimp that's going to be a nasty <laughs> ass little yeah, chimp yeah. that's going to go from like ross's chimp on friends to <laughs> Fucking Michael Jackson <laughs> bubbles in like seconds. <laughs> it's yeah, boring. it's it's. I think like 
it's another important thing that isn't covered in education is like dealing with stuff like that isn't it at a young age because if you can develop yeah. the tools to deal with it when you're younger when the chimp is stronger and you can manage it mm. properly as, as a child yeah. then it would become easier as an adult to manage it surely. Yeah. There's, there's so many things in school programming that is taught that shouldn't be and there's so many things that aren't taught that should be yeah um i think psychology being a main one because i mean it, but again everyone's different yeah and what i don't like about school curriculums is it's a curriculum yeah. it's an order and it's trying to get every kid to do the same thing yeah, yeah. And you're trying to, yeah. you're trying. It, um, it must be hard for them. I'll give them that. Yeah. It must be hard to try and create something so general when there's. I mean, this brings it to another point. I was going on about the Myers Briggs, you know, the yeah, personality yeah. spectrum. I mean, yeah. how can seven point six billion people yeah. be categorised into what you found sixteen, or like yeah. sixteen, twelve to sixteen categories? I mean. Not you have really to have really some sure. generalization and stuff like that because of obviously like the vast, the, the vast yeah. amount of different personalities but like i did it and i got the protagonist which like a lot of it reflected sort of like my personality but then there was other parts which completely contradict like who i am yeah like a neediness for like relationships and stuff like that it's like no yeah, i'm a strong you... independent woman <laughs> <laughs> Independent yeah. strong woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All I need I'm is PC, my van. I'm PC oh. principal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm PC yeah. principal, yeah. But yeah, it's self I think reference. It, it is useful. It is useful to a certain extent. But you have to I think the one of the one of the main issues with things like that is people see it and they think, Oh yeah, this is the gospel, this is black and white, this is this is how what it is. But if you look deeper into it, you, yeah. then you start to understand the the shortfall and shortfallings of it and it doesn't yeah. account for everything because a test that accounted for every part of your personality would probably take you a year to complete <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wouldn't at, it? at least that would yeah. probably just cover the basics yeah but i mean the, the more like it was last week that i started reading into you know so i was looking for another yeah. psychology book i was reading into this myers-briggs thing and i and no joke i got once I've figured out how I can return books on Audible and get all my credits back, <laughs> I'm like, whoa, let's go. Uh, we'll put that in the comments section below. <laughs> but uh, once I figured out how I could do that, so I was like, I got this next book and it was going on. It's like, well, this personality, I-N, is, does this, 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 and then it, it that can merge with this. But it also means this and it also means that. So everything was just going round in this big, big word salad. Fucking, like. It was like a, it was like a chimp what like a little i man i imagine i imagined it being inside an adolescent girl's brain going through puberty yeah. where every every neuron's just going fuck off fuck off <laughs> well she hates me she hates me and my lips too fat and i've got no tits and, blah, 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 blah. and it was just like yeah. i was just like no get that off and three books on that were the same yeah it was like it was like reading a list yeah, of stuff. Yeah. I was like, that's not an audio book. Because uh, all, all then I did found was... dark psychology and learned how to hypnotise people. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was Natural. well more, yes. <laughs> Natural progression. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, because I, I look, when you mentioned that, I, I'd heard of it, but I couldn't really remember. And then I just Google imaged it, and there was nice big tables, and it was easy. Like, you probably, yeah. looking at that, you could understand, like... Exactly, yeah. As soon as, as soon as I... Got and rid then of the I books, the then test. looked at the table yeah. and did the test. I was like, "Them books are like four odd hours long. Mm. I've probably found out everything I needed to know about this study in, in a minutes. table in five minutes." Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll leave that one. Yeah. I'll get to dark psychology. To be instead. fair, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnosis <laughs> and uh, what, what else? Did I learn? The power of uh, suggestion and manipulation. Not that I'm. <laughs> mad so now fucking wear. people. <laughs> I'm mad fucking you right now. I'm mad fucking so, the shit you. Have you hypnotised anyone yet? No, I've only finished the book yesterday. Oh, have you? Are so, you planning on hypnotising someone? I am planning. Have you hypnotised me and I don't actually know it yet? No. Oh, okay. No, because um, 
I think. Have I, you ever tried to be? Have you ever like been on stage and attempted I've, to I've, be hypnotized? I've been to a hypnotist yeah. to get rid of my anger on the golf course. <laughs> About did it, about did it, did it three years ago. Yeah, did it help? It did actually. Did it for about <laughs> two games? For about a month. <laughs> yeah. For about a month, it helped. Yeah. In uh, 2016, I went uh, for about a month. I remembered everything, but thing is, it's fifty odd, fifty five pound an hour mm. for a hypnotist. I was like, what? you're like. Fuck she's, that, I'll hypnotise myself. Yeah, so she's, <laughs> and she was like, right, I think uh, to get rid of it fully, you go, you go, you're going to need a, like, a course of six sessions. I was like, what? That's, that's, what's that, mass? 360, 330 yeah, yeah, quid? 360 minus. So yeah, 50, 55, 6, yeah. yeah. So I was like, no, this ain't happening. Can we do it in three? Cram it into three. So, you know, I've given this woman 100 and, 165 pounds, three sessions. And to be fair, you know what 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 was said, and I was the the first one I was kind of a bit itchy, and I I had tight boxes on, so a bit like wedgie boxes, so I couldn't <laughs> fully go under. The second two, I remembered that, and I was like, "Wumph!" I was out like a light, and it was it did feel it did feel good. It feels. If you've never been hypnotised, get hypnotised. I, I, I don't me... know if I'm just too much of like a sceptic. I think to myself, this I think is nonsense. Br- I think your brain's too. Because I've tried, I've tried before, and I just can't see get to it. But I'd, I'd say that I meditate I... a lot now, so I'm better at like. Yeah. I'm better at see, switching off. It's more when because obviously you know how sceptical I am. I'm I'm probably in the same boat as you, mm. maybe not quite as. Reading into the hypnosis type of thing, it's more, it's more about getting people to relax. It's not like three, two, one, boom. Look at my eyes, not around, not around the eyes, not around the eyes. You're under. Bark like a ch- bark like a dog. Yeah. I never said bark like a chicken. <laughs> bark like a chicken. <laughs> That's a trick. Um, but. It's not nothing like that. It's more yeah. about relax, relax, relax. How relaxed? How relaxed can you get? Mm. Focusing. The main thing about it was focusing on certain points. Let your eyes blur, and just just let yourself switch off. Yeah. Again, the defect that even he said teaching it is, and the reason you see people on stage, you know, mm. trying to hit. It's if you ever watch a hypnotist on stage, they'll start on stage. 20 30 people mm. and then it's a process of elimination yeah yeah they'll have assistants going right yeah, yeah. No, you can't do it you're too switched on yeah. your brain's not up for that tonight yeah and they end up with about three or four yeah, yeah. so it's i managed it's to a big... i managed to con my way down to like the last three once and he was like nah <clears throat> yeah nah, i know shit, your yeah, game yeah, yeah. i know your game i was like damn it yeah. <laughs> this wizard knows me <laughs> <laughs> He knows. <laughs> wizard. Oh, I'd love to be a wizard. Uh, yeah, I always loved Gandalf. He's yeah. a top guy. <laughs> He's a top guy. Yeah. You never know, mate, with this new CRISPR DNA editing technology, we might have wizards coming at some point. Amazing. And chickens that can bark. Yeah, barking wizard yeah. chickens. That that's that's in the near future. Yeah. You heard it first here. Right. <laughs> Barking chicken wizards. <laughs> Barking chicken wizards. Yeah. Not yeah. like us to go off on weird tangents. I know, mate. Right? Yeah. It's, know. A, it's almost like we've watched the Mighty Boosh a few hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Surprised they never had Barking Chicken Wizards. Probably the only thing they that'll didn't be think the, of. That'll be in the like reboot series, I reckon. They need to do a reboot series. I know, yeah. So I think Noel Fielding did on It's such own. a random it's, show, isn't it? It, it? Like the characters, yeah. the crack fox. Oh. <laughs> the foxy man. <laughs> <laughs> Ever drink blood from a cat's face? Oh, God. Oh, old Greg. Is he? Scaly fish man with the it full is like of... Leot- yeah, like wearing a leotard. A leotard. A, I got a mangina. <laughs> Trying to drink Bailey's from a shoe. This is, this is Bailey's showing the pictures. This is so close to Bailey's without your eyes getting wet. 
<laughs> this is old Greg. <laughs> oh god. Amazing. You could go on about all of them. Yeah. The uh, the cheese, the cheese man, cheese the kind of meat. And from this, how long ago did we watch that? Every time, I feel like every it's time, been years since every I time, it. me and you have cheese. The cheese song yeah, always yeah. surfaces. Cheese is the kind of meat. A tasty yeah, little beef. Amazing. Great times, mate. Great times. Great right, I want to ask you another question about the chimp. Yeah, before um, we go too far off. Yeah, before tangent. we before we end up putting ourselves in boxes and having cheese dreams and that. Oh, um, dreams. Yeah. So, in terms of like. <coughs> noticing other people's emotional behaviours after becoming aware of your own, did you notice it a lot more in people around you? Oh yeah, yeah. big time, big time. Did you did you just, just notice it or did you point it out to people? Or I pointed it out to a few people but you soon learn and everyone else will probably sympathise sympathise uh, people don't like to be told what's wrong with them <laughs> especially in this modern day society yeah it's like uh, you're, you're awfully chimpy today what does that mean well your chimp means you're very emotional i'm not emotional it's the first response you get i'm not emotional <laughs> and that's the chimp that's exactly you've just proven the point yeah. that i'm not emotional and they just get on this high horse back yeah. and am that's it and you think you're smart and you do this you do that and in the end you just <laughs> sit back, watch people, and watch just think, the chimp. Watch the chimp have a fit. If they want me help, they'll ask. Yeah. At the end of the day, you cannot. And that's can, another thing. People re will rarely ask for help. I know. Pe well, another thing as well. We've we're, we're getting locked down now in such as a superficial, um, a superficial society where everyone. Everyone's posting shit online. Everyone's posting stuff on Facebook. Everyone's, everyone's oh, like me, like me, like yeah. this, like that. Define me, and it's 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 pretty. It's pathetic. Yeah, but, you, it's it's funny as well because you see like it's sorry, yeah, man. a lot a lot of people. I mean, again, people close to us that yeah. we can relate to. Um, the key word, I mean, it's such a contradiction, but if you ever listen out for it, I don't give a shit what anyone thinks. Yeah. That is the biggest opening to, I, actually... I care what everybody <laughs> thinks, that's yeah. why I say this. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the kind that, of, the biggest psychological like, yeah. defect it's, on the, I don't care what anyone It's thinks, like ultimate you, hypocrisy, yeah, isn't it? You care that much that you're trying so hard not to care. Yeah. And people get so lost in this social media vortex that they forget who they actually are as a yeah. person they're too busy trying to like other people I was out last weekend first thing they do when we get into a bar they're checking us in on Facebook yeah. checked in and like I get a text off someone oh what are you doing there have have the ravioli it's nice yeah how did you fucking I look across the table and like, <laughs> on yeah. Facebook. It's like, oh, no. I, well, <laughs> one, of, one of the things that like you see a rise of as well, which has come with social media, is like the rise of like the cut and paste personality. Oh yeah. So people have like there's like a, a set of like generic personalities that people have on Facebook. You've got like the makeup artist, and mm. then you have just like so many people that like looking at that and like oh. That's me now. I'm a makeup artist. Like loads of photographs, yeah. selfies, and all that. And the adventurer, which I suppose I'm a bit guilty of as well, like posting pictures and stuff like that. Well, the way but, yours, and I'll I'll defend you here with the adventurer. Yours, if anyone knows you truly, it's not. It's yours isn't through the fact that you're trying to show everyone what you're doing look i'm an adventurer i'm doing this i'm doing that for the most part before you cabbaged your ankle yours was mostly charitable i mean you were doing iron man's for charity you were i couldn't even keep track of how much stuff you were doing <laughs> yeah you were just you were putting your body through all kinds of paces you every going every here there and everywhere mm. the army and it was a nice story to follow mm. There's other people that are like what you're referring to. The false 
it's, look how good my life is. Look mm. how good this is. Look how good. Yeah. And this is the type of person you go to a restaurant and you'll see them. They're supposed to be a couple, but they'll be like that. Yeah. yeah. You see you, so much how's, how's, about that. How's your you? meal? Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. That looks. Hold on. Right. Let me filter. Yeah. Oh, well, that cabbage looks a bit shit. Right. Put that on your plate. <laughs> Yeah. So much of that, and I just, I don't care what you're yeah. fucking eating. Just fucking eat it. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. I mean, I'd be, I'd be very surprised if anyone was able to take a picture of my food yeah. before it was. I don't know, but gone. you're like a, you're like <laughs> new new off the Teletubbies. It's like, <laughs> gone. gone. <laughs> well, like, I'm a gannet, and you yeah. eat like at least four times faster than I yeah. do. I was, well, after watching it last week, I, thought, I think you'd give him thought, a run for I his thought, money, mate. Me and Pennywise, you got his, his jaw unlocked. <laughs> it's like my name, Pennywise, and then this kid puts his arm, and, <laughs> and if the, you know, if that was yeah. like a rack of ribs or a chicken, well, leg, that's you, mate. That's like, Hump, yeah, gone. That's you. <laughs> yeah, that's you. I, I just want to go back to something you said before. With the, <laughs> I don't give a shit what anyone else thinks. Yeah, that that like. Uh, I don't know, I'm not a psychologist or anything, but like the underpinnings to that, I think people think that if they say something, even if they're acting completely different, as long as they say it, what they say is what they are, in a way. Mm. It's like, I'm it's trying like, to think of a good I've example. I've told you I'm this way, believe me. Yeah, yeah. Even it's though like, their actions, I, even though their actions completely, completely, completely contradict yeah. it. And you see that, you see that a lot, like on social media and stuff because you can I've, I've come across some like unsavory people in my time and you'll meet the most like narcissistic like almost sociopathic people and they will portray like they're the horror all they care about is better in themselves and mm. they'll, they'll, like a recent example I come across they will literally like shit on anybody to get a leg up yeah. And then the social media person, and even the first impression of that person, it's like, oh, this person's like a, a really like cool person. But yeah. I'm posting all over social media are like loving, lovey dovey type, like huggy type, meme mm. things, and like embrace the love and all that sort of stuff. And it's like, just because you're saying yeah. that, that's not what you are. Like, you, gem you generally find the people, it's. It relates again. It's a self aware I think yeah. a lot of it is a self awareness issue. People do things but don't realise what they're doing. And if they do realise then they don't care. And I think that's that's worse because if you realise what you're doing and you don't care about it, you're not gonna change. Well, Whereas that, if you that, don't realise that's the nudgeable thing. Yeah. Which is well, that's it, another insight. That was insight. Wasn't insight, it? another great book by yeah. Tasha Yurik. Yeah, that yeah. was that's that was yeah. again read that like twice, made loads of yeah, notes. Yeah. There's a book what he's saying there, there's do you reckon there's three stages of people who I would say misbehaving people, we'll call them we'll call them chimpy actions. Mm. You get people who can be completely reasoned with. Yeah. And it's like, listen, yeah, you've you know, you've you've cocked up, that's not right, you know. And then you get people who still think they're kind of right but you can nudge them in yeah, the right direction with yeah, with the right kind of with the right kind of talk, words, persuasion, stuff like that. And then you've got completely Don't don't care unaware, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, don't care unaware. Yeah. And they're the people who are just like it, it's like you said before. It's kind of sociopathic. No, aware is it? Aware don't care or unaware don't care. Aware, aware but don't care. Yeah, aware but yeah. don't care. That's it, isn't it? That's the uh, yeah. That's they're the one. they're the ones that usually cause like the most aggro, aren't they? Because they're yeah. just like wrecking balls. Yeah, human, I'm sure, human like, wrecking balls. There's a lot of there's a lot of people out there like that. I I knew a lad from school, and um, you just. I met him years later after school thinking, do you know what, yeah, maybe he might have changed. Mm. And you hear about an incident yeah. later, he, he ends up beating up me mate who was on crutches. And it's like, no. no. It's, I reckon, but knowing as much as I do about psychology now, he's just, he's a full-blown sociopath. Yeah, yeah. No control over his aggression. Yeah. That was his thing, it was like literally say, 
the slight off words from mm. like vroom, red mist bang yeah, yeah. he just didn't he just wanted to kill people mm. and that was um and that's I was actually learning about that today the difference between sociopaths and psychopaths that's, I watched a YouTube video on that the other day yeah I'd probably yeah. the same one yeah yeah it's like the difference like how psychopaths are more calm collected yeah and, Conniving in a clever, smart way. Yeah, yeah. Sociopaths, sociopaths just can't control fly their emotions. They can't control yeah. their emotions, and it's just yeah. full-blown anger. I, I'm <coughs> almost a hundred percent sure that I've come across one of them. I think I've met a couple. Like the worst, worst type of people because they don't understand the damage that they do to people around them, or they yeah. don't care. I think like it's hard to sort of like rationalise it, but. They will shit on even their closest friends just to like get just get to one get over. ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've met quite a few people like that. Yeah, and and, and it's, they're like it's compulsive sad. liars as well, weaving webs of lies that they often get like. Tangled and then up in. they start to believe their own lies yeah, yeah. because they've told it that many times. Yeah, yeah. And they believe, and they become they become crooks. They become they just do anything to just. It's again. Yeah. It's just suiting themselves one of the one of the things that was said on that like video that i watched about sociopaths and psychopaths is like sociopaths are more likely to be violent yeah because of that in a bit that emotional like fucking unhingedness in a way yeah so yeah and i like i want to slightly go off topic a bit here and talk about um sort of like the emotional um community that you get in like tribal sort of like groups that we see like arising in society now mm. like looking it's going to be mentioned all the time like but po politics like left leaning oh, yeah. politics right leaning politics you have your groups on the left and right and a lot of the argument between them there's no rational thought behind the arguments all they're no. trying to do is throw mud at the other person and hope it sticks mm. and it's all like emotional defences you see it on like it's election time now isn't it yeah you see it all over twitter like the um God, sort it's, of it's a cesspit of it <laughs> yeah it's coming from like the labor camp and the, and the tory camp even mm. even like the people not just the groups that are like supporting and pushing and pushing their agenda but even the politicians themselves now are doctoring videos and putting it out on social media the tories yeah. got pulled up for that um Last week, I think it was, they edited a video of Keir Starmer when he was asked a, a qu question about Brexit. And he answered the question. It was a terrible answer that didn't really answer the question, which is what you expect from no. a politician. <laughs> Never. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I Politicians can't actually don't ever, do that, do they? I can't actually ever think of a time a politician <coughs> asked a question and given a straight up answer without yeah. going around at least 500 and houses. And now we've got Boris yeah. Johnson who stammers and he, yeah. uh, well, well, if you look in your the down and I'm a conservative and I hear yeah. my red shoes will go nice with a you know, nice cup of tea and I can go and go and fart myself to sleep. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> you could say that and you'd be like, oh yeah. Really, it's, in yeah. it's insane because when you, when you see people in a position of power and, and authority that a lot of people actually look up to, and they're lying and they're manipulating information to smear mm. like their opponents. It's like, all right, it's, they're doing it. Like they're supposed to be like upstanding pillars of our community. Mm. If they're doing it, then we can adopt that behaviour. And I think a, a lot of it might be subconsciously, but it, it sort of rationalises it for people to then mm. take that behaviour on. See, that's that's what I've been learning this last week. Um, they call it dark psychology I mean mm. it's psychology to be used whichever way you want but the way I'm going to use it is learning how to you know use the power of suggestion and speech manipulation stuff like that so I can spot it coming from other people yeah yeah and I've been watching videos watching especially sales the fucking everything they say every mm. you can start picking out words it's like half yeah, the yeah. sentences don't even make yeah, full yeah. sense yeah but they're suggesting stuff if you blah 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 buy this buy that mm. boom 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 so like it's all it is like subliminal messaging yeah, yeah. it's tapping into different parts of the brain mm. that are going oh yeah maybe that is a good 
Should have gone. Oh yeah, I should look at buying that. I thought that was actually looks quite nice. Could be hideous. Mm. So your traditional standards, but it's been marketed that well. Yeah, yeah. And you've been psychologically manipulated. It's going on. I mean, another thing why it's it is a lot easier to hypnotise people than you think. Learning about it because everyone pretty much walks around in a daze anyway. Mm. Most, I'd say. 96 97 percent of people it's only like rare that they're not awake to the <laughs> goings on of the world or yeah. aware of the psychological um pathways but half half of people i mean you look at the general hamster wheel of life get up go to work come home have me tea sort the kids out get up go to work live for the weekend might go and get drunk Blah blah blah, and people are happy to mm. live in this wheel. You're programmed to want programmed that as a child, though, aren't you? It's like that's what the you're system successful. does. It's yeah. meant the system's meant to keep people poor. You, you're it's, it's meant to consolidate. It's only rare that anomalies come out, and I mean, I'm trying to break the mold myself. I'm yeah. I'm currently stuck in a hamster wheel rut and I can't, I hate it mm. it makes me want to run head first into golf clubs yeah. again but it's it's. now I'm aware of it I'll get out of it but mm. it, the more you are aware of it the more you look around people and think even close friends it's like you got no drive, no ambition no yeah. nothing, you're happy to plod along in life you know, if they're happy with that, then yeah, that's I think fair enough. But that's like uh, kind of like one of the sort of like s socially accepted routes to routes to success and happiness is you go to school, you get good grades in school, you do an apprenticeship, you go to uni, you get a degree, you get a good job, you become a professional, you then mm. partner up with someone, buy a nice big house. And buy a new car and that is like seen as being successful and have kids and a lot of people only really do that especially at a young age because they think that that's what they should be doing mm. rather than broadening their experiences while yeah. they have the ability to do that because you're dragged straight into work from school you don't really know much about the world yeah. everything's like focused to like oh you need to get a mortgage you haven't got a mortgage and you're like 25 mm. or whatever what are you playing at? Like, yeah. get a job, get a mortgage. And once you've got a mortgage, then essentially, there are ways out of it, like renting your house and stuff. If you want to do, if you do want to go travelling or go and work somewhere else, but yeah. you're trapped in. That's a big ass loan, and you can't <coughs> like, just neglect that because you've got money mm. invested in it. So you have to keep putting more money and more money in, and you can't just leave it yeah. and be like, oh, I'm going to take a break from this. I'll, I'll be back in a couple of years. You can't because especially tied in. nowadays, everything's, tied in. everything's and, getting that fucking expensive. Yeah. It's hard. I mean, you see everyone, oh, I want to have a holiday next year, so oh, I I'll work three weekends in a row, I'll do this. Mm. And people are so busy, work, 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 and I see it, and I talk to people most days about it, like, yeah, but it's money, and it? it's money, it's so money-driven, because that's the propaganda mm. the fed on the TV. It's like, you're going to be this, 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 money, money, money. And by, by the time, especially, pe happiness. especially people our age, yeah. by the time you're retired, mm. it's probably going to be 70-odd. You're going to be too old and fucked to spend all this money <laughs> that you've saved. Yeah. So you'll give it to your kid, well, you see, and then well, they're going to probably do the same thing. A lot of the time, though, you spend your money on shite that you don't need. Because oh, like, yeah. like, a lot of people are materialistic, and you can't really blame people for being materialistic in a, in a keeping up with the Joneses type society, with new oh, phones yeah. every year, mm. new TVs, new cars. Like Everyone wants to be keeping up with it, don't they? Yeah. And it's another thing that you get sucked into. Like, I'm, I'm a sucker for technology. Like, I... I want a new phone every year, like an older <laughs> phone with a good camera and all that. But yeah. everything else, like everything else, I try and like steer clear from because yeah. it's just my a trap. Thing my thing's golf equipment. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Just, just, luckily, I was good enough to win a load of tournaments and win some clubs <laughs> this year, yeah, and yeah. not get it because I think my my driver it's probably worth four hundred and fifty quid three wood. 260, mm. 5 wood the same, 
new four iron 120 mm. new wedge because i go through a wedge probably every a lob wedge probably every two three months what are you doing with these they just you're like cutting down trees with them or something mate I, i've got a, i've got a bag of clubs in that bottom shed just full of old clubs especially lob wedges there's about is that just because you're like oh i want a new one or do you actually need a new one most of the time it's like ooh. well it's it comes from how can i make myself better yeah what tactic what i like to cover all areas mm. so it's like i'll have if i'm playing <laughs> if i'm playing a lynx course yeah i'll probably i'll tweak the settings on the driver take mm. all the spin off it so it flies yeah. lower stays out of the wind a bit yeah. i'll have a one iron in the bag the woods probably won't go in so i've got to have a one iron for that mm. so i'll have a link set a parkland set right okay. and there's like an in but then there's a windy day set yeah and there's like you know you need wedge you need a set of wedges for when the weather's damp which pretty much every day <laughs> in this yeah. country yeah. it's very rare you know then you'll have like so you essentially wedges. you have like a golf club it wardrobe like, it's almost like two sets yeah mm. well, it's, i didn't yeah, know it's that just, they were that you needed that many clubs mate when you're playing it uh, yeah. that might explain why i was so bad because i only had one set of cheap clubs <laughs> it depends what level you want to play out <laughs> if you're just beginning then don't go to my ocd i like shiny that things is really extent. that is really like min max in that isn't it that's marginal gains like tiniest little improvements when you're at a level like you're yeah. at though the smallest improvement can be <coughs> the difference of winning a tournament, and, can't it? And even then, when you go into like, you know, my, mine's just like good amateur level. Mm. When you step up again into like the pro ranks, mm. they're like their marginal gains. I mean, they'll put, they'll change their driver head if it means they'll get probably another two miles an hour ball speed. Yeah, two mile an hour ball speed could equate to six yards yeah that's half a club yeah off going into a green say well i'd rather it i'd rather it a soft eight iron than like a you know like a seven mm. so it's just it's them little tiny gains i mean especially now if we go off on it i'd be here all night if we talk about golf so yeah, let's go back onto it. psychology <laughs> <laughs> let's, yeah let's cut golf off yeah there's any non-golfer you could you could edit that out <laughs> cut that out <laughs> went too far shite note to self don't talk about <laughs> talk about golf on podcasts Mark. no yeah because yeah you don't want to do that that adolescent brain thing again Mm, toys isn't it yeah toys 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 well like wind up mouth toys and then there's <laughs> yeah. so is there any like are there any other areas where you can think about the significance of chimps i've come to terms uh, i mean i wish i'd have i wish i'd have done this years ago mm. And I think I'd have been in such a much better place mentally and a yeah. much better place in life. I think I'd have progressed through life better if I'd started yeah. this 10 years ago. But I can't speak highly enough of yoga. Yeah. For me, yoga's really... It's, I only started doing it because I had to, having had a serious op and lost so much flexibility and mm. strength. And the fact that I can't go in a gym and fling heavy weights around mm. anymore like I've got to get my strength in a different way but yoga for in terms of I think I think it's the breath control within the practices mm. that kind of it does after after say a month or so of doing it and I mean I do it every day now yeah because I just love it and it's just um channeling into what's called like an ujjayi breath I mean you do yoga you know what that is it's like a it's like a heating up the heating up your breath inside and allowing yourself to channel it better through the movements and like getting into that state of mind you, you end up you you start doing it with everyday life yeah. and you think if you if you come to a chimpy situation this is the extravagant point that i'm trying to make yeah. if you come to a, a particularly chimpy situation it sounds so simple but if you just step back and just breathe yeah. if you go into that yoga type breathing state 
it's almost like everything around you slows down mm. and then that allows the frontal cortex of the brain the human to step in and go what's the logical solution yeah yeah and that's the stuff you've got to program into that computer yeah that hypothalamus it's called if you want the technical section of the brain mm. that the computer is yeah that and that 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 brings hippocampus yeah i'm not sure mate um yeah hippocampus it is i'll take the word for yeah. it but yeah looking being able to i think that's that's a really important thing to be able to do as well which you kind of allude into there it's like in a situation if you can put yourself or think back to a situation where you maybe made a wrong decision you can look at that externally as if you were someone looking at someone else making mm. that decision and you think why why is that idiot doing that like sometimes you can see it when you put yourself away and put someone else in there yeah and and that's 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 where you gain a lot of insight from looking at it as if it's someone else not you in the situation because yeah. we felt like you're saying before you find it hard to criticize yourself sometimes yeah and having that like awareness to understand that we're all like we all have flaws we all have our little yeah little sort of like quirks that maybe aren't like conducive to the things that we want to do but yeah. if you can identify that the self-awareness thing and look outside and sit, look inside look outside look inside from the outside yeah it'll allow you to like sort of understand the situation a bit more and say yeah <laughs> what are you doing you bellend <laughs> yeah why, why did you do that and if that, that was if that was steve i'd have ginned him <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> or not ginned him because then you'd be in a gym as well i look i look back and think god how did i not get punched <laughs> some yeah. of the stuff that i did yeah. I mean, I've had some road but, rage incidents in the past where it could have got messy when I was younger. Oh, and that, now I've it's had, just I've like had, I've had, uh, whatever. Yeah, I've had road rage incidents where I've had an ex-girlfriend of mine actually oh, clinging onto the seatbelt so I don't get out the car and beat the crap out of this guy. Yeah, because she's like hanging onto it, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah, she's nearly. I'm, but then I look back at it now and I think. If I was looking from the outside at me getting angry, it's like... It's so irrational as he's, well. He's cut you up. Yeah. Big deal. And if you got out and filled him in, Get and got a, like a GBH... Got a GBH charge. You go into jail, and you're going to... And how hard, is it, how hard is it to get a job? When, yeah, yeah. Oh, have you got a criminal record? Uh, pff, no. Yeah. <laughs> and only GBH. Only GBH. Yeah. What was that for? Yeah, and yeah we'll, uh, we'll go with the guy who doesn't have anything on his record <laughs> uh, the, uh, yeah. the psychopath coming in <laughs> who hides it better <laughs> yeah. sociopath no psychopath <laughs> yes yeah psychopaths can get away with it mm. yeah anything else we need to cover I don't know I think we've covered like quite a broad spectrum there yeah if we're going uh, on we've took something specific in the chimp and we've kind of Gone off Fed on. it bananas from all <laughs> angles. He kind yeah, of yeah. chucked bananas. He's yeah. kind of overwhelmed and fat and full now. Yeah, now the so chimp is like easy the to chimp. push him into. He's like, oh yeah, fuck it, I'll go in my cage. Just he's yeah. had his fill. He's like, Oof. yeah, you you bored Oof. me now, lads. I'm just yeah. gonna chill out for a bit. You bananaed me to yeah. death. <laughs> These humans are boring. I need to stay away from them. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lesson, I suppose. Bore your chimp to the point where it's it just wants to go in its box yeah. on its own. Exactly. Just whatever you do, just. Don't like, become full blown chimp. No. Nah. Because that's not. It. It's not a person you want to be, and it's not a person anybody wants to be around. Yeah, yeah. So, I'd urge anyone to read The Chimp Paradox Insight by Tasha Yurik. Just books to start. I mean, The Chimp Paradox as, as well. I mean, some aspects of it are a bit tough to take in. Yeah. But. It's easy to get the, get, the basic get the gist, gist from the first few chapters. Like, I mean, I'm just on here trying to live up to Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, our yeah. ten-year-old ten nephews like fucking Einstein. <laughs> Unfortunately, just, mate, I don't think the audience are going to like you as much as Charlie. You're not as cute as a ten-year-old that's bouncing around. And I'm the not. Band. I'm not as smart, to be honest. <laughs> 
I don't, think, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think many of us are as yeah. uh, he's just a, I can't wait to see what he's gonna be when he's older yeah I just hope he's an absolute genius he's an awesome kid like yeah he's just so, incredible uh, using words like premise 10 years I'm old I'm talking about CRISPR talking about yeah CRISPR Talk, talking about politics do you know what I was doing when I was 10 I was kicking lumps out of people on a field covered in crap and then <laughs> yeah. I'd go in have me tea and I'm doing it all over again yeah. and then that was it and I had the police station that was this I was thick when I was 10 yeah. and probably rightly so mm. like most of my friends were mm. he's like wow it's insane blows like, my mind how clever yeah. he is but yeah, yeah I'll definitely amazing. be getting him back on that's yeah. for sure I'd like to come on with him yeah, yeah, that'd be quite good. So I'd like to, uh, a little family podcast. Yeah, <laughs> whether we'd get a word in edgeways is uh, another thing. Remember when we went to It'd watch... be less interesting if we were talking and exactly, Charlie was here. Yeah, anyway. yeah. So, so we could just sit here. We're just we could feeding sit here. bananas. Yeah, we'll sit here, drink brews, give him Haribo, and <laughs> let him crack on. Yeah, let him get hopped up on sugar. Yeah. And send him back to his mum. <laughs> Here you go. Your problem now. Your problem. <laughs> He's ten times as smart as you. <laughs> Uncle Dickie and Uncle Mark. Hand him there back. You go. There you yeah. Go. yeah. Yeah, we've done that a few times. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so final thoughts then on the on the chimp. <coughs> it's very important to have some sort of like self awareness and mm. understand that like reacting emotionally to situations is only gonna charge the situation more and mm. reduce the chance of you coming out with like a a sort of an outcome that you would, that a positive you would want outcome. a positive outcome yeah because uh, if you raise if your chimp gets angry the person that you're talking to or the situation that you're in it's going to escalate their chimp well it's yeah so it's, it's going to be it's all chip, chimp it's gonna control be chimp you've got versus let, chimp it's gonna, yeah, and then yeah. that's how a fight yeah, starts yeah chimp wars Where's so it? what you need is you just need that let that human side click in step back look outside look in on the situation and think if I was watching someone else do this, like, what would I be thinking of that person? Mm. And if that isn't, oh yeah, that's that's a great right way of dealing with it. Then maybe you should sort of look at changing and look at yeah. gaining some insight from the books that Mark's mentioned, and yeah. and just starting to step back and thinking about your actions in a way. And I can't I can't stress enough the main the main one of the main points of it is don't we're not saying control your emotions i would never tell anyone that i'm gonna uh, give an advice to to try and control an emotion because not only is it too hard it's too much pressure yeah you are putting added pressure onto yourself just learn to acknowledge them yeah calm yourself down breathe i, I can't recommend yoga enough yeah. for that sort of thing and just learn to rationalize with it and deal with things better and over time you become more and more and more human and less and less emotional it becomes it you becomes, can get to the point where i am where you have your girlfriend saying you've got no emotions and your heart's like a swinging brick <laughs> but i take that now because i'm quite positive i take that as a compliment saying yeah. i've got my emotions in check yeah yeah and i can pick and choose what i get emotional about mm. granted fifa still sparks a few flames <laughs> <laughs> but you know yeah yeah but I think, I think on that valuable insight from mark i think we'll call it a day there uh for episode yeah. three episode and three. i'd just like to thank mark for coming along cheers brother yeah um many you'll more, be back hopefully. yeah you'll be back yeah. on again i'm sure We've got loads that, of things just, that we can that's discuss. Just, that's just one psychological area that I'm interested in. Yeah, yeah. We've got loads of topics that we'll cover in the future. Yeah. Right, um, thank you for watching. Uh, if this is the first video you've watched, I hope you enjoy it. There's a few other really good ones on there at the minute. Uh, we're going to be pumping out more content in the next few weeks. Uh, if you liked it, like the video, subscribe, click the bell so you get notifications when we're uploading new videos. Um, there'll be links to mass social media in the description um, and control me, that chimp yeah control the chimp and uh, check me out if you're northwest of England Mark Kimpson sports ther therapist I'm trying to get away from plumbing and get into the sports therapy route strength conditioning psychology uh, sports massage blah 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 if you need any of that I'll or put a link to anyone, his yeah, LinkedIn website in the description and, yeah cool sweet right cheers thanks guys thanks, thanks for guys. watching